Hey guys, how's it going? Wanted to give you guys a video on my little F-body project that we got going on here. Uh, this is a 79 Z28. It is my third second gen Camaro. I had a 1980 Berlinetta and I had an 81, just like base model V6 um, automatic Camaro that I was going to turn into a drag car that never worked out. Uh, but one of my buddies had this sitting in his yard for a long time. And I was finally able to work a deal out on it. Uh, the car was getting uh, set up for drag racing. Uh, it's got uh, 488 gears in the rear with a spool, uh, monoleaf, cow track bars. Um, but... While I may leave the spool and the 488 rear gears and the monoleafs and the Caltrax, I'm not going to go with the drag race setup um, because this is a real deal Z28. Um, it was not originally black. Uh, originally, it was this, I think, camel caramel or something kind of a not really a gold but kind of a tan color on the outside with probably brown stripes or like tan gold stripes and it had a tan um, standard interior uh, so it has the more basic door panels and the button seats. Um, but it is also a factory four speed car. And it still had the four speed pedals and obviously the console and everything. Um, so I've always wanted a Z, I mean, you know, just like you, you know, guys want Corvettes. If you have, if you have a Chevelle, everyone real, always wants a SS. You know, Z twenty eight is the top of the line Camaro. So I finally got it. Uh, it is not the Z twenty eight that I prefer. Uh, I would really like if I had an ideal run of pick of the mill. It would be a uh, 80 Z28 just because they had the better grill and they had the front and rear little spoilers and the cowl induction hood, which I still have a scoop for that over there. Um, but I've always wanted a T-Tops. Both of the other Camaros I had were hardtop cars, and I actually had a T-top roof for a long time, but I didn't think that I would be getting back into Camaros, so I ditched all my Camaro parts years ago. But anyway, yeah, so this is, it's a fairly um, complete, pretty much original, you know, there isn't any hackery that's really happened to the car. Um, again, the only thing that's really been changed was the rear gear and rear suspension stuff. Um, it had a big fat set of slicks on it, um, that someone had started pounding the inner wheel tubs out to try and make fit, but that's not a huge deal. I'm not going to worry about correcting it, um, cause it's not a big problem, but it'll get... The uh, gold turbine wheels, but 
Uh, it was painted black, I'm assuming probably in the 90s. Um, so the paint has a lot of bubbling in it, and there's a lot of spots where the bubbles popped and surface rust came through. But for the most part, this is a very solid car. The rear frame rails are perfect. They still have paint on them. The rear trunk is perfect. Um, the rear window channel has a couple real scaly spots in it, but there's no holes in it. You know, we got some pretty, pretty bad pitting here, here. It's bubbled out here, but even in the channel, it's not rotten. Uh, the T-top roof is solid. The channels are all perfect, except for right in here. I don't know if I'll be able to... Uh... Yeah, you can see that hole right there. It's the only spot in the whole roof section that's uh rotten the uh the doors the passenger side solid you know it's got a little hole down there apologize for the bad light you know the door hinges are shot as these heavy 70s doors wear out really easy because they're so stinking heavy but uh the driver's side is definitely worse it's uh rotted out up in here it's got some pretty bad scale and it's blown out in the corner pretty bad so i'll definitely have to change the driver's door out but in the pillars, you know, perfect. Again, the channel and everything's really good. You know, this corner doesn't have that rot issue. Um, it is full of stuff. It is also a tilt car. Someone had been in here, you know, this side of the floor pan is painted yellow. The other side's painted like red oxide. But you know, being a T-top car and a Camaro and everything, uh, this side, the back floor is pretty squishy, and the rear seat mounting spots are all rotted out, and the tracks themselves rotted off. The front, uh, the floor pan here is bad. On the passenger side, the back half is a lot better, but the front still has a... Uh, blown out spot so probably just get full floor pans but i mean the rockers are solid the quarters are solid you know that it hasn't been all bondoed up um just a cup there's a spot on either side in that one dog leg but the back quarter panels are fine they had there's you know looking on inside from the trunk there's no uh sign that quarter panels have been changed nor is there any sign in here that the quarter panel has been changed so you know again all in all it's a very solid car the rear splash pan underneath the bumper is rotten out like they all are <clears throat> And then, sorry, you have, you know, the issue in the wind weather strip channel or the trunk. You know, both both corners are blown out and it blew out the inside. But other than that, you know, up here, going around the top is fine. The trunk lid has been changed. That's not original. But... You know, again, the trunk, the trunk floor is solid. The rear glass is decent. Um, might get changed, might not. The windshield was all smashed up, so it got pulled out. 
original paint on the dash. I did wire wheel and paint the VIN plate just to kind of protect it, so I did get some overspray. But the window channel is pretty solid, except for that spot over there is blown out, which let water in and rotted out the passenger side floor pan. And then the driver side, the main reason it blew out was, if you can see in there, there's a couple rot spots in the cowl that wound up uh, blowing out and letting, letting water drip into the front. Plus, you know, just from use, you know, the driver's side usually does blow out more because you're in there with your wet feet in the rain and everything. <clears throat> Moving to the front, uh, these are aftermarket fenders. I don't know how recent they are. They definitely don't look super fresh. So, you know, they are aftermarket. Uh, I did have, I did get one of the original fenders with the car. And the front, they were rotten out real bad. Uh, you know, they absolutely weren't usable. Uh, but I was able to get the fender vent for that side. The other fender uh, had been lost, so oh well. Uh, it is a heat-only car, which I actually prefer. Um, just because the factory AC cars firewall had bigger cutouts and the factory controls are all uh, vacuum operated and all that junk and it's just not it's not worth it um this car will get the vintage air air conditioning but we'll talk about the future plans in a minute um again the front subframe is really solid it's not modified it's all stock and everything like that firewall is good um, the core support is gone. It's absolutely rusted. Both body mounts are rotten off. The radiator support's pretty much rotten off. It's rotten up where the little fender extensions mount. So that's going to have to get replaced. But the rubber bumper itself, it's got a rip. It's also, you know, it's been around, but uh, that can get <clears throat> body worked and patched up and everything. Uh, and then it's a power steering car. So we still got the power steering box. That'll stay. Um, now, the engine that's in here, I actually got it from my brother just yesterday um, it's a 355, it's got double hump heads on it, it's, uh, supposedly has a Lunati camshaft in it, we'll see, you know, it, the video that my brother showed me of the camshaft that's supposedly in here sounds pretty decent, but if not, I have a thumper cam for a uh, small block Chevy that I'll throw in here. It's got a you know new water pump on it, uh, but other than that, you know, it is what it is. I got it for really cheap off of him, so a little mill. Uh, right now, it has my brother's Turbo Four Hundred behind it just to help it uh, just sit in here. Um, I do have the correct Super T Ten four speed that'll go in this um because i am putting it back to factory so you know what's what's the plans with it uh 
it's completely stripped down. It was pretty complete when I got it. And I wound up just ripping everything off. One, to see what I'm working with. But also because, you know, I want this car to be the one car that actually gets, you know, the pretty treatment. Uh, it won't be happening for many years. You know, right now, uh, I'm not doing the projects anymore. I'm not spending money on cars. But this thing's not costing me any money to sit here. So in the future, when the day comes where I can spend money on cars once more, this will get sent straight to the body shop to have all the metal work done, get painted back to the factory color, you know, have all this trim replaced or polished, have it all, you know, new glass, weather stripping, the whole nine yards, get it all restored. Um, like I said, the rear end will stay just because, you know, 488s, fun and excitement you know I'm not here I'm not trying to go on super long road trips with this thing I just want to have a blast with it um interior will go back to stock seats will get uh recovered or replaced new door panels you know whole nine yards all that stuff I have you know we'll get all the four speed shifter stuff and the pedals will get redone steering column will get uh rebuilt um, I have the factory rope-like Z28 steering wheel for it. It'll get a new dash pad. I have a um, perfect condition gauge bezel for it. So it'll just get completely restored. And then, um, you know, we'll have this. We'll have the four-speed. Probably just do, you know, some uh, long tube headers. Uh, if I get really tired of the headers, I'll go with the exhaust manifolds because I'm not trying to be a super super pavement pounding freak. And, uh, you know, headers are prone to leaking and can be a real pain in the butt. Whereas manifolds usually are leak free and trouble free. So we'll have to see. But get power steering, get back, put back on. We'll get the vintage air going, I hope. Um, just because, you know, it has the double hump heads on it, so there's no bosses on the front of the head to bolt stuff to. But, yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys, you know, the rundown on the Camaro. And uh, I'll see you guys later.